Yeah. Now, the question is, did it originate in Dewsbury? Or did they come in to Dewsbury from somewhere else and, and have stay. a lot of male children? Yes. yes and, stay. and what about spelling? You look at this yes. list here of my name, there are, what, a dozen different versions of the spelling. Yes. The answer is that names with similar spellings tend to occur in the same location. But when a name moves away from its home base, there's a very strong probability that it will change its spelling. Because the standardization of language generally is a fairly recent thing. Yes. Um, so the standardization of name spelling in the same way would be equally yes, recent. Exactly so. And for most of surname history, people couldn't spell at all. So if you ask them, what's the spelling of your name? They couldn't answer because they couldn't spell anything. Yes. Um, and so if the parish clerk said, what's your surname? He wrote it down as he heard it. And a lot of people, when they get these things that they stick on their walls, all these little books they get about their names, they want to know what the name means. You know, it means a, a keeper of horses or a you know, killer of foxes or something. In this case, unless you haven't given a meaning in that sense. Yes, that is a controversial uh, area. The problem is that um, it's very difficult to be certain about what a, an ancient Germanic name meant. What about migration? Um, the producer Beth surname is O-D, yes. O apostrophe D-E-A, yes. which brings us to Ireland. We take the view that you can't study surnames in Britain without studying Irish surnames. We're very lucky because we've got a great Irish scholar, uh, Kay Muir, advising us on Irish names. And uh, it's quite fascinating to see how 